Uh, my name is Major Joshua Gunderson. I go by Cabo. I'm the F-22 demonstration team commander and pilot. Absolutely. So there are a lot of uh, parts and pieces and people that work behind the scenes for days and days to prepare for an air show. You know, we have about 25 events annually for our demonstration team. So while we're doing a show, you know, this weekend, we're preparing for the next sh next weekend show. So it's a constant process of moving people, uh, planes, equipment across the country. All right. So the amount of uh, the amount of time and effort that goes into putting on an air show really starts you know, about a year prior. So the team here at uh, K-Bay has been working really, really hard to put on this air show. So not only the people outside of our team you know, working hard, but the people inside of our team are managing over 20, uh, 20 shows across the country. So getting people, airplanes, stuff across the globe, you know, working with hotels, lodging, all those things that you don't think about behind the scenes takes a lot of effort. We have a team of 14 people that manage that, and uh, primarily the superintendent is the uh, highest ranking enlisted person on the team. And his job is, uh, is all those logistics, you know, and, and making sure that that stuff is squared away for the shows. Yeah, so we have 14 total people on the team. There's one given pilot at any time, so it's just myself flying the uh, demonstration. We have the team superintendent, who's the senior enlisted person on the team. We have a team chief who's in charge of all the uh, maintenance functions, so he's kind of the the you know, point of contact for all the maintenance functions if we need to just service stuff, get parts in, etc. We have eight maintainers, uh, four of which are crew chiefs and four of which are uh, folks in avionics. We have two folks that take care of the gear I wear when I fly the, the demonstration. We also have a uh, public affairs uh, rep representative as well. In terms of the airplanes, uh, what's unique about our team compared to, let's say, the, the Blue Angels or the Thunderbirds or any of those teams, uh, they have specifically assigned airplane. They, airplanes. They paint the airplanes, they modify the airplanes for air shows. Uh, we'll see with the F-22 that we're flying at the air show, it is a completely unmodified combat jet. So the only difference between our jet and one that'd go to combat is that you know we don't have bombs, missiles, and bullets, obviously, for in front of the crowd. So the cool part about this air show is that we're flying F-22s uh, stationed here at Hickam Air Force Base uh, on the island of Oahu. So uh, they are one base of very few bases across the globe that have F-22s. And we're very thankful to be flying the jets partnered with the uh, Hawaii Air National Guard and the active duty uh, Air Force folks that are part of that unit, both pilots and maintainers, to represent Hawaii and then also put on a show. Um, for the crowds here. We haven't been here as an F-22 unit since about 2010. So what they're going to see from the demonstration of the F-22 uh, in front of them you know, here on the island is that they're going to see an airplane that can do maneuvers that other airplanes physically can't do. So despite all the airplanes in the military across the DOD, whether it's Air Force, Navy, Marine Corps, this airplane is uh, by far the most capable in terms of performance. So when you think of speed, acceleration, turning abilities, uh, this airplane is unmatched. So they're going to see the airplane you know, go up in the sky, stop, slide backwards, you're going to see it do a backflip, you're going to see it do a cartwheel, you're going to see it do a, a spin like a helicopter. Uh, things that you know, 64,000 airplane, pound airplane shouldn't be able to do, uh, but with uh, the advanced flight controls and, and the, the systems on the airplane, this airplane is absolutely magical and, and an absolute joy to fly. So we're excited to show that to the people here on the island and uh, looking forward to the show.